What's going on everybody? It's Marcellus back with another video. We are going to be talking about Shiba Inu. Last time we talked about Shiba Inu, we talked about where it could possibly go in this next bull market cycle. But what we're going to be talking about today is where Shiba Inu is going to be going in the near future. So let's talk about that. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Let's get straight to it. So first things first, we are at 4Z3433. So 4Z34. This is pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. We got way higher than this. Well, a little bit higher. And we got all the way up to 4Z44. So we got up to that 44 level. Almost kept going up higher and higher and higher. Remember, our all-time high is at 86. It's at 4Z86. So the fact that we got halfway there means the next pump that we get is probably going to get even closer to there. So we might be seeing 100% gains inside of Shiba Inu coming pretty soon. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today because we almost got there. So looking over here at our um, Fibonacci retracements here, it's kind of cool because, you know, when you look at, when you compare this to the uh, the Fibonacci's to the momentum wave bands for chart prime, which are the automated trading indicators that I use, link in the description if you want those. And also with the RSI, you get different, you know, you get different answers for what's about to happen and you kind of got to compare them all. So what we have here. First things first, what I want to look at is the RSI. So the RSI down here, it tried to cross, right? Usually when it crosses before it goes down to the bottom, it just means that it's about to have another increase in price. It tried to cross, but it's still kind of down, but it could still cross right here. And if it crosses and then goes back up, that means that we're probably going to end up hitting the support around 8Z31. And then that's when we go back up. So once it, that happens, little to no resistance all the way from 3.1 down to four up to four zero little to no resistance from three one up to four zero right and then after we pass that then there will be little to no resistance from four zero all the way up to four seven now obviously when it does um, go down to three one if it does go down to three one and then it goes up here to four zero it'll probably sit around here for a little bit and then it'll have its final breakthrough going all the way past for seven so there's a lot of different goals here that we have with shiba inu but first we need to see that pullback down to three one so then we can build that momentum up so then we can eventually get past the four zero area and then four seven now something else that i like to look at here are the chart prime indicators whenever i look at this so chart prime is showing the momentum wave bands we can kind of just take this off so we can look at the moments momentum wave bands so the momentum wave bands just so happens to be at the same exact area as our Fibonacci retracement for our support, which is around this 3-1 area. So if you look at it, you know, they're both kind of at the same area. So that's why I said you got to compare, you know, different avenues. You got to compare different, um, ex different things like this, right? You got to compare different extensions. So it's really, really good to look at, you know, the RSI because it's showing you some volume stuff. It's really, really good to look at the Fibonacci's because it's showing you your support and resistance levels. And then it's really good to look at like an automated trading indicator because it, it just streamlines the process and kind of brings it together in a nice, neat little bow. So what we're really looking at here with the momentum wave bands is seeing where the momentum of the market is going. And at the moment right now, what we are seeing is we are on the up and up. But what I'm watching out for is the support down here. Same thing with the Fibonacci watching out for that support because that's where we're pulling back down to because when you look at the rsi kind of shows that we're going down now we can always cross and then go back up like i said before but it's usually better to bet on us pulling back just a little bit and then going up from there because typically when we hit those support levels that's when the momentum is built so we need to pull back just a little bit in shiba inu and then we'll have little to no resistance all the way up to four zero and then up here to four seven so those are the levels that we're watching out here for shiba inu and looking at the daily chart here, also looking at the um, RSI, you can still see as it hasn't crossed yet, has the possibility to cross and then going back up. That's what we're watching watching out for. Now, besides all this other stuff, the most important thing that I like to look at here with Shiba Inu is what's not even Shiba Inu, but the whole crypto market. What's about to happen? We're about to have some big stuff coming up on the 12th. We're going to have our Euro, year over year. Uh, inflation rate they're going to be coming out with a core inflation rate and all that on the 12th of march so we got that coming out on the 12th of march um we got retail sales ppi coming out the month over month uh retail sales and ppi on the 14th 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. So the 12th and then the 14th, we have big financial news for the U.S. and this always affects the market. So we get good numbers, we go up. Uh, bad numbers. If it's bad numbers on inflation, we're probably still gonna go up because when people see oh well, oh well, oh man, they're like oh man, like inflation's going up, inflation's going up even even more. Then what typically happens is that people will put their money into crypto because inflation's going up. So now they got to put their money in crypto to hedge the, against that inflation of the U.S. dollar. So that's what they do. They'll put it in crypto. If inflation's going down, if it's going down drastically, then they usually will take their money out of uh like different cryptos and stuff and like stocks you know just so they have that cash in hand cash on hand and some spending money because inflation is going down so their dollar is quote unquote worth more but if inflation is going up you know they're going to want to put it inside something like bitcoin so inflation has been going up and it has been stagnant some months for some months but i definitely think that we'll have a good you know we'll have a pretty good pump coming up uh, on the 12th of march and the 14th of march right and obviously we have uh tuesday and thursday those are the two days that this is all going to be happening on so you just pay attention to this because it's pretty important for the market but yeah this is pretty much all i got for you all today um in a short answer here like i said we're looking towards eight uh we're looking towards uh four seven here four z four seven so we're looking towards that four seven resistance up here uh first pulling back just a little bit to build that momentum up and then getting up to four seven so that's what we're looking at for the near future here for Shiba Inu. Anyways, this is all I got for you all today. Hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. If you like these automated trading indicators with these momentum wave bands, very good, by the way. Definitely check out the link in the description for Chart Prime. And as always, I'll be back with another video.